Okay, today I'm not going to do any videos about birds or anything like that. Um, we are just going to give a quick tour of the facility. You may get lucky and see a couple of ducks or um, geese or swans in the actual videos, but the purpose is just to give you an idea of what this facility here in North Carolina looks like. Um, so we're going to start with uh, our wintering slash summer enclosures for we got some pygmy geese over there and some hottentots in there. This is an old greenhouse structure that we inherited with this farm when we bought the farm. Uh, we converted it to a, a greenhouse slash uh, aviary. Uh, we cover it with plastic in the winter time. Two ponds in, the, in this one. This aviary on this side here, uh, it's what we know as our D aviary, um, just because that's the way we've named it. Um, we've got nine, eight, nine separate aviaries in this. This is our most recent uh, completion. Uh, we completed this a, about a month and a half ago. We made this actually, uh, most places is like eight foot, eight foot tall. Um, we went in here, we put one, one by one wire in, inside the chain link. We varied some pond sizes in here. We got a big pond. Currently we have uh, Australian, New Zealand black ducks, Pacific black ducks, or whatever I call them, Australian, New Zealand, Pacific. Um, these are probably most likely New Zealand's. Um, but we put a bigger pond in there for, uh, Probably so we can put some black neck swans in there one of these days soon. We separate all of our tree ducks off. Um, we have some tree ducks in here. There's another set of aviaries right behind us, which we're not going to go in, um, that just duplicates this side of the aviary. up here we'll just give this a quick look um, this was scheduled for completion this year I don't know when it's going to get done at this point but this is going to be our brooding barn we've got all the ponds almost formed up um, behind me is uh, our sea aviary we've got 18 units I think uh, 18 different aviaries in here um, from spurwing geese down to um, gadwalls and, and uh, black belly tree ducks and, and, and such in here. We've got some baby natives in this area. This is uh, known as the Y aviaries, Y1 and Y2. Um, we have some breeding birds in here, but mixed collections, we, we don't really have a lot of luck in these things. Uh, so we tend to use this more as a holding pen uh, than anything else. We've got a pompous grass here, and I wouldn't recommend putting that in any aviaries. Um, they're, they're like knives in there. I tried to trim it down today. I was actually trying to uh, dig up a part of the plant to put, transplant it up in New York. but. Uh, they can't be done either, it's impossible. Again, we don't, we typically use this as a breeding avi or as a, as more of a holding pen than anything, but we do have some nest boxes set up in case things want to nest in here. Um, over, we can't really see it, it's kind of a, a dusty pen. Um, it's a holding pen that's known as our X aviary. Now we're on the back side of the aviary we call the A aviary. This is actually the first aviary we built in here. Um, again, this is an old nursery that we converted to, um, to aviaries. 
Um, we've got 21 units in this particular aviary. Um, everything from scops to uh, magpie geese to white faced tree ducks in this particular aviary. The right is the back side, or is the front side of uh, A aviary. And the left of me is uh, B aviary. And we've got 12 units in this B aviary. And we can just walk up. We've tried to also keep uh, weeds trimmed down this year uh, to make it more manageable to find eggs and just uh, overall. Um, Ease of nav navigating in the pen. In the front of B, we've got the um, we got some jungle fowl and here. So we're on the front side again of C aviary. Uh, over to my left here is uh, the greenhouse. This is about where we started off. And then down this side is the front side of B aviary. So to take my time and go through this aviary uh, to give somebody a tour will probably take about um, maybe a little over an hour. Um, we just did it in, the, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Um, so uh, in the near future, we'll get through here and we'll uh, do a, um, obviously we can't do anything more than 15 minutes at a time, but we'll do a, uh, like a series of the aviary so everybody can see what we got going in each aviary.